Oh, I paid for it, alright. Same fucking day that I played the first session. They already broke out that first dollar, cheap five dollar wine and... Drugged it down a little too fast, made stupid decisions, and here we are. <laughs> playing this fucking thing. Uh, my I, my ISP is a shitbag with the data cap. It's also a shitbag with, you know, monitoring. <clears throat> to the extent that if it detects that you fucking pirate something, it... It really goes after you. Oh, great! Another fucking one of these. Where were these chapter notifications during the first act? I don't remember seeing them. Not that it matters too much, it's... Dude, the, most of the first act at least had something to make fun of. Like the fucking errors in the hospital. Uh, refunds, but the, that... A refund depends on if... If it actually gets fucking... You know, I can accept it because I'm already past the 20... Or the... What, whatever it is, the fucking two hour... Uh, two gameplay hour. Oh no, I've been detected by a spotlight. It's a four stealth segment. Fucking wonderful. without triggering the breeze wall of death. Now I'm just sliding down. Nope, oh, parkour's not the answer. Where's more falling damage? Wait a minute. That's what you're supposed to do. So you kind of forget that parkour is even a thing most of the time, because it doesn't even come to, into play until the first fucking mission of Act 2. Judicious use of cheats Because quite frankly the game's fucking buggy and broken. I climbed up successfully and they just slide off
A minute, please. I'll be right with you. Go to your room, honey. Daddy has a guest. I would assume you've come here to assassinate me. But your outfit... It doesn't look like someone who would like to sit in my chair. I do apologize for my rudeness. My name is Boris. I am the administrator of this fine factory. Look, I don't want to kill you. Not in front of your daughter. I'm just here for the weapons. Weapons? Mister, do you have any idea what we produce in this factory? Not weapons? Not weapons. What are those things? Those things are called cremators. You could say they are, in a way, extremely efficient and overzealous janitors. The Combine are planning to spread them throughout the rest of the world. Get rid of the refuse, the detritus, the trash. Keep the streets clean. But in this case, we are the trash. Are those children? <sighs> yes. This is how they control all the new generations. The Combine raises them as slaves, forcing any child older than the age of five to start to work. What about those younger than five? There are none. How many are there in this factory? About a hundred. I know what you think, and I have the same feelings. It disgusts me, but I have to work for them. For my daughter, that's the only way. I don't think that's disgusting at all. Excuse me. Think about it. Wasn't the main reason we were trying to go to space for decades for the resources? If we had the power to enslave them, wouldn't we? Hell, we enslave our own kind. We couldn't care less about an alien race. That's just nature playing out its own game. It's always been between predator and prey. That's the balance. But this time... The tables are turned. They got to us before we got to them, pulling our resources, draining the oceans, enslaving humans. Enjoy your time while you can, Boris, because sooner or later humans will rise up and put a stop to this. But this time round, humans won't even last seven hours. They won't stop with the military. They will come for all of us, even for you and your daughter. You are a wise man indeed. Even though I do not share the same feelings as you, I have to agree that, uh, with what you say, you are correct. We just may be closer to the end sooner than we think. But there is a difference between you and me. Until that day, I will not give up on humanity. You're a good man, Boris. Now get out of here. Take your daughter and leave. What do you have in mind? I'm gonna burn the whole factory to the ground and take those kids with me. You will do this for the children? Well, I will, but not for the children. I need an army. Right after you get out of that room, I have to alarm the Combine. You know that, right? Do what you have to do and leave. Even if you don't do this for the children, I do appreciate it. And I won't forget that. Mitchell. Thank you, Mitchell. We'll meet again. We will. Okay. <clears throat> I've never seen this before. Look at this, we're reusing Dr. Breen assets. Amazing. I don't know what the point of the fucking armor things are. Is that just for design? Because it's not like you have armor. Oh, seed my toaster? Yeah, I watched it. You know, before he disappeared off the face of the planet. Way back in the day. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure the uh, soundtrack in this game is, <clears throat> you know, fully original, but this sounds very familiar. And again, I guess the uh, guitar riff there isn't exactly all that original. Very generic. I will say this is something that I find nice. Well, maybe not the uh, black screen on the scope that suddenly appeared, but more games should do this with their scopes instead of turning the entire screen zoomed in. I was never in contact with him. I just watched the videos like anybody else. Again, there's no... There's no HEV suit armor, so I don't know why there's a... fucking dispenser to re reload it with. Questionable. Very questionable. What exactly, exactly what part of any of this is constituting burning the factory to the ground? It looks to me like I'm just running around shooting combine. Sure, the first two shots hit him right in the face. Well, up a couple of barrels, but it doesn't appear to have done anything to burn down the back. What a shame. like it. That or she's just spontaneously exploding. What the fuck? Where did you come from? How did I get hurt by fire? There's nowhere near fire. Oh, great. I get stuck on nothing and then run right into that. 